Hello and welcome to Prague that is finally opening up to tourism. So if you want to visit, we are making these videos that will help you to guide around the city, but also the city of Prague wants to invite you. So if you stay overnight in a hotel, you will get points that you can use for different museums, towers, galleries, and so on. So today we want to show you these places that you can visit so they can be an inspiration for your trip to Prague. Let's go. We started on Wenceslas Square, so the first place we're going to visit is the main building here, which is the National Museum. The building of the National Museum is beautiful, not only on the outside, but also inside. And there are many exhibitions, there are uh, temporary exhibitions also that you can visit, uh, but mainly there's this cupola on top that offers amazing view, so we're gonna go check it out. We're at the top of the National Museum and this part was reconstructed, the copula, and I wasn't here. It was reconstructed in 2018. I've seen some pictures, but seeing this live is amazing. We are in a tunnel that connects the historical building of the museum with a new one. And there's this exhibition, this projection of the history of this square and of this place, what situations took place, and it, I have chills the whole time. It is absolutely amazing, and you have to see this. So that was the National Museum. Uh, we kind of rushed through, but you can easily spend half a day there. The exhibitions are amazing, but there is more amazing stuff in Prague to show you on today's episode. Let's go. We moved from Wenceslas to Old Town Square with the famous astronomical clock and the tower above it, uh, which if you use your point, you can get a free entry once again to this spot. Uh, we already made a video about the lookout tower, so you can check that out. The view is pretty epic. And if you do use your point here, not only the tower, but you also get an access to all the apostles that turn on the astronomical clock. You can see them up close from behind, and also you can get a tour of the underground, which is really cool and worth doing. But since we've already been to these places, you saw some archive footage, and we're gonna head to the next spot that is on the main touristy path, but a lot of people miss it and walk right past it, which is the mistake you're not gonna do because you're watching this video. Let's go. At the end of this street, just before you hit Charles Bridge, there are actually two places I want to show you. The first one is this house where Johannes Kepler used to live, but not really the house, but the walkway through, which is very interesting to take a picture and look around. But the second place we want to go to is part of the gallery of the capital city of Prague, and that is Colorado Mansfeld Palace. This Baroque Palace, this Baroque Jewel here in downtown Prague is really a must see. If you will come here, most likely you will be all alone by yourself because as I said, not too many people make the turn. We are here, uh, the first visitors today, all by ourselves. Uh, but who wasn't here by himself was the director Milos Forman with his entire crew because they filmed the Oscar winning movie Amadeus in these places. And check out that ceiling. So far, all the places we visited were for free, thanks to the fact that you get a point, actually two points for every night you spend in Prague in a hotel, and you use those points to enter these places. And not just the ones we showed you, there's plenty more, like this tower here on the Charles Bridge, the tower on the other side, the St. Nicholas Church right behind it, the Prague Castle, the tower at the Prague Castle, highly recommended, and also the Prague Zoo, and many, many more. But we figured we would show you the hidden ones uh, because usually people forget about them. So the next hidden spot we want to show you is just across the bridge to the left. We crossed the bridge, popped up on this square, and most people would continue and follow up to the Prague Castle. But not us, we're gonna take a detour here, a turn, into that little house with that door where you're gonna see.
From a very busy and noisy Prague street, we entered through a small door, small house, and we entered this amazing, beautiful Vrdba garden. If you've never been here, this is must-go to place in Prague. Uh, not only a beautiful garden, but if you climb up all the way to the top terrace, uh, the view will open up to the entire city, to the castle, to the St. Nicholas Church, and to the old red roofs of the lesser town. And I think it's pretty beautiful. This garden has been here for more than 300 years. It's not only a beautiful garden, but also beautiful statues around here from Matthias Bernard Braun. He's also an author of a couple statues on the Charles Bridge. And if the pictures you're just seeing didn't convince you my commentary, maybe the fact that this, according to some competition, is the second most beautiful garden in Europe. The first one is also this one. They gave them the first and second place at the same time. Not only this garden, but all the places we showed you and mentioned today are part of a program called Prague Unlocked, where Prague is opening to tourists, and when they spend a night in a hotel, they get two points that they can use for these places. And there's many, many more places we didn't show you. Uh, for example, you can use one of the points for the new historical tourist tram hop on hop up that rides around the city. We showed it to you recently. To find all the hotels that participate in this program and all the venues and places that you can visit, go to pragunlocked.eu or click the link below in the description. We created this video together with Prague City Tourism because it's not only their goal but also our goal to bring tourists back to Prague and make sure they enjoy it and they love it and they go home happy with smiles on their faces. And I'll see you next week in this awesome city. And at the end I'm going to teach you how to say in Czech Prague Unlocked, which is Praha Odemčena. Prague unlocked, Praha Odemčena.